Herkese merhaba. <laughs> it's Jen on Türkiye. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do what we've been doing, which is doing some Turkish English sentences. Whether you're learning Turkish, whether you're studying English from Turkish, my lovely Turks, you are welcome here. We are going to look at levels of the B1 for Turkish words and sentences. And it's a great way to look at the comparison between the English translation. Let's keep it simple and let's roll on. All right, word number one. Evlenmek. Evlenmek. In English, to get married. Let's put it in a sentence. In Turkish, we have Ayşe ve Mehmet önümüzdeki yaz evlenmeye planlıyorlar. Again, Ayşe ve Mehmet önümüzdeki yaz evlenmeye planlıyorlar. In English, Ayşe and Mehmet plan to get married next year. Slowly in English, Ayşe and Mehmet plan to get married next year. And this is a conjugation of evlenmek, which we have here as evlenmeyi. Cool. The plans to get married. Super. Next, number two. Başarmak. Başarmak. In English means to succeed. A sentence in Turkish. Ali zorlu sınavı başardığı için çok mutlu. Again, in Turkish. Ali zorlu sınavı Başardı için çok mutlu. Now we have in English. Ali is very happy because he succeeded in the challenging exam. In English, slowly. Ali is very happy because he succeeded in the challenging exam. Super. Başarmak, conjugated as başardı. Başardı. Excuse all the notifications. <laughs> all right, back to business. Number three, havalimanı for airport. I used the word havalimanı, but I remember there was a second word, so here it is. Havalimanı. Who uses this word more? Let me know. Do you use this or havalimanı? I need a vote. Okay, havalimanı airport. In English, is airport. Our Turkish sentence goes. Tatilimiz, tatilimiz için havaalanına gitmeliyiz. Tatilimiz için havaalanına, havaalanına gitmeliyiz. In English, we need to go to the airport for our vacation. Slowly in English, we need to go to the airport for our vacation. All right, so we have hava alanı, and we're doing to the airport. So we have hava alanına. Cool. Next, number four, gelişmek. Gelişmek. In English, to develop. Okay. The sentence in Turkish we have is, Türkiye son yıllarda ekonomik olarak gelişmekte. Türkiye son yıllarda ekonomik olarak gelişmekte. Super. Um, in English, the sentence goes, Turkey is developing economically in recent years. Doğru. Slowly in English, Turkey is developing economically in recent years. Super. We have gelişmek, which is conjugated as gelişmekte. Okay, number five. Gezi. Oops, excuse me. Gezi trip. In English, trip. So it's a trip. So you can go on a trip. Let's just focus on our mission for today. No intense grammatical discussions. We have the Turkish sentence. Bu hafta sonu ailemle güzel bir gezi yapmayı planlıyorum. Again. Bu hafta sonu ailemle güzel bir gezi yapmayı planlıyorum. In English, I plan to have a nice trip with my family this weekend. 
slowly in English. I plan to have a nice trip with my family this weekend. So we have bir gezi, a trip. Cool. Number six, dikatli. Ah, on this channel, there is a slowly developing portion segment called dikatli dakika, where me, Jenon, has my dikatli dakika moments where we can be wise together <laughs> through Turkish wisdom. It's coming soon, just wait. Okay, tamam. Güzel. Dikatli. Careful. So here it's defined in English as careful. However, when, when I was using dikatli dakika, it was mindful moments, right? So careful, mindful, similar. Two different, two similar situations with this. Okay. Turkish sentence with dikatli. Sınavda başarılı olmak için dikatli çalışmalısın. Sınavda başarılı olmak için dikkatli çalışmalısın. In English, you need to study carefully to succeed in the exam. I see. I see where the definition is. Just in English again, slowly. You need to study carefully to succeed in the exam. Dikkatli. Dikkatli çalışmalısın or study carefully. You hear me? <laughs> okay, moving forward. Number seven. Öğrenci. Öğrenci. Ben öğrenciyim. Ben tüm gün öğrenciyim. I study every day. But you can be a full-time student as your identity, as your status. You're in college, etc. A student. Öğrenci. Ö. Uh, öğretmen, öğrenci. <laughs> Some of the first Turkish words I learned, especially using ö. Uh, ö, uh, öğrenci, öğretmen. Önce, what else can I think of? Özge. Oh my gosh, we're on a roll. What else can I think of? Um, nothing. I can't right now. I froze. The Turkish sentence. Okulda öğrenciler yeni projeler... Üzerinde çalışıyorlar. Next. We can say it again. Okulda öğrenciler yeni projeler üzerinde çalışıyorlar. <laughs> In English, students at the school are working on new projects. And, slowly, students at the school are working on new projects. Öğrenci, öğrenciler, plural students. More than one öğrenci is öğrenciler. Okay, move on. Number eight, görüşmek, görüşmek, which conjugates into my one of my favorite words, görüşürüz, görüşürüz. Görüşmek, in English meaning to meet. To meet. And in English, in Turkish, the sentence goes, Arkadaşlarımızla akşam yemeğinde görüşeceğiz. And the hands are important as you, if you get a chance to see them. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Arkadaşlarımızla akşam yemeğinde görüşeceğiz. Uh, in English, we will meet our friends for dinner. Slowly, we will meet our friends for dinner. So, görüşeceğiz is the plural, uh, excuse me, it is we and in the future. So, görüşeceğiz, <laughs> görüşmek, next. Anlamak, another important word in Turkish. Let's see what sentence we can make with it. Anlamak, to understand. Turkish anlamak, English to understand. In Turkish, the sentence goes, öğretmen. Öğrencilerin könlüyü anlayıp anlamadığını kontrol ediyor. Okay, let's go again. Öğretmen, öğrencilerin könlüyü anlayıp anlamadığını kontrol ediyor. Tamam ya. <laughs> In English, the teacher is checking whether the students understand the topic or not. In slowly in English, 
the teacher is checking whether the students understand the topic or not. That was not slow. <laughs> the teacher is checking whether the students understand the topic or not. Anlamak. And it's conjugated as anlamadın. And the students are understanding the topic. Well, they're not understanding, but we're getting too deep into grammar now, which I'm not in here for right now. Final word for today, tatsil. Vacation. Vacation, holiday, whatever you want to call it. In Turkish, the sentence goes, Bu yılka tatilinizi deniz kenarında geçirmeye planıyoruz. One more time. Bu yılka tatilinizi deniz kenarında geçirmeye planıyoruz. In English, we plan to spend our vacation by the seaside this year. Slowly, we plan to spend our vacation by the seaside this year. Super, ya! That's our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed. The words we went over today are evlenmek, başarmak, hava alanı, gelişmek, gezi, dikkatli, öğrenci, görüşmek, anlamak, and tatil. Do zobaczenia, Polish for no reason. Thank you, everyone. Teşekkür ederim. Herkese görüşürüz. Ciao, goodbye, do zobaczenia in the next one. Remember, we're here for Turkish English practice. Get connected with me. We're here to learn English. We're here to study Turkish. We're here to have a nice time. We're here to love Turkish culture. We're here to learn things. We're here to ask questions. We're here to have fun. And I need to work on Dekatle Takika. So check out the other videos. Get connected with me. And maybe watch another one. Bye.